which is the river that flows through Dublin. Now, in this beautiful long fountain, they have a woman supposed to be representing Analithi. Analithi, the spirit of Dublin, is everywhere. Beautiful statue. Within two days, it was known as, and it is still known as, the floozy in the jacuzzi. <laughs> Let's see all the ones with people shopping, carrying, you know, carrying shopping on the shopping Main Street, at Henry Street, just up on North Street. And then in no time at all, they were called the hags with the bags. Right. <laughs> the chorus of this is weird, because it's Ring a Ring a Rosie. You know the old nursery mom. You think about it, a Ring a Ring a Rosie is looking for a rosy and tissue and tissue we all fall down. It was about the plague. Fairly, fairly macabre was subject for a children's home. Why do a lot of children's nursery rooms are fairly cool? Ring a ring a rosy as the night declines. I remember Dublin City in the rare old times. My name is Sean Dempsey as Dublin as can be. Born hard and late in Pimlico in a house that ceased to be. My child was a cooper, a stout to redundancy. Like my house that fell to progress, my trend of memory. I courted Peggy Dyna, she's pretty as you please, a rogan child of Mary from the rebel liberties. I lost her to a student child to go away my love when he took her up to Birmingham. Ring a rosy as the night declines. Yes, I remember Dublin City in the rare old times. The years have made me better. The Guinness stints my brain. The Dublin keeps on changing and nothing stays the same. The pillar and the metal gun. In concrete makes a city of my town. Ring a ring a rosy as the night declines. I remember Dublin City in the rare old times. Fare thee well, sweet Anne I can no longer stay and watch these new glass cages spring up along the cage. My mind's too full of memories, too old to hear new chimes. I'm part of what was Dublin in the rare old times. Ring a ring a rosy as the light declines. I remember Dublin City in the rare old times. Ring a ring a rosy. meaning, and it's a wonderful story. In the 18th century, it was fairly common to get thrown in jail for debt. But there were rules about how you could be caught for debt, and the rule was you had to be touched. So the tip staff men, they actually had staffs, and they would tip you, literally. And if you ran after they touched you, you're in real trouble, then you get the court to come down heavily on it. But they had to touch you. So if they're often frequently on the streets of Dublin, you'd see these guys, the guys that owed money, running from the guys with the tip staff. But there were rules. You couldn't be arrested for debt on a Sunday, between midnight Saturday night and midnight Sunday. And there were these parishes in Dublin 
where you couldn't be arrested for debt at all at any time. I don't know why, but they were called the Liberties because you were at liberty in the, in the place. Great story, right? Uh, for those of you thinking Danny Boy is forgetting to hang in there, okay? <laughs> This is an odd one in that it's been adapted for all Irish sports teams ever in the world. And it's a nice enough song. It's about a guy getting chucked out of Ireland for stealing bread. I don't know. Whenever you see an Irish sports team or an Irish sports person doing well somewhere in the world, there'll be Irishmen singing in the crowd because we do that. And they'll be singing the song. I have no idea. Which 
funny enough, I did actually. I did, and my father did as well. And usually, in Ireland, taking a boat means London. And it's streets paved with gold or not. And this song was written actually from a poem by Percy French. But I'd say who did a lovely version of it was Don Kine. Did a beautiful version of it. And I like it because it's it's sweet and it's pure and it's it pokes fun at the Irish in England. And if you read between the lines, it pokes fun at the English as well at the same time. Which I'm all for personally. <laughs> oh Mary the Sunder, it's a wonderful sight. There's people here working by day and by night. Well they don't sow potatoes in the barley gangs of them digging for gold on the streets. At least when I asked them, that's what I was told. So I took a hand at this digging for gold. But for all that I found there, I might as well be where the mountains would sweep down. Automatically answer like a prayer. 
and go to Inishbury. Because it's one of those poems you learn when you're really, really small. And even then, it's got a beautiful, evocative sense to it. You know, it talks about building cabins and very medieval kind of almost Ireland. And it's beautiful. So I'm going to recite a little bit of that and I'm going to rise and go now. And then I'm going to sing a song called uh, Where You Go, I See You Go. Which is about what I think the environment would be. Do you know what just, what just reminds me? I've been playing these songs for 30 <coughs> years. And I still forget the words. Isn't that amazing? I think after 30 years I remember the words. Right. I should arise and go now. And go to Inish Free, and a small cabin builder of clay and wattles made. And nine bean rows will I have there, and a hive for the honeybee, and I shall live alone in that bee loud glade. And I shall have some peace there, for peace comes dripping slow, dripping from the wings of the morning to where the cricket sings, and the midnight's all like a glimmer, and the moon's a purple glow, and the evening is full. Let oh, the summer time is coming, and the leaves are sweetly blooming, and the wild mountain time it grows around the heather. Danny Boy is a very special song 
Because everybody feels that way. About it. And whenever people hear it, they think of somebody that they know or love that they've lost. And for everybody it's different, and that's what makes it such a powerful song. So, I'll do Danny Boy, but I won't sing it as part of my set. I'll sing it for my mother and my grandmother, and I'll sing it in honor of whoever you think about when you close your eyes and you hear Danny Boy. Thank you. 
Okay. Can I stop? 
choose to go after. I'm not sure what the fish like that. Right? Uh,